what's going on guys just here to urge you guys to hit that subscribe button i know many of you guys are newly watching the show you are amazed by what we're doing here at amazing minds and you can hear mr chofaya drinking tea in the background so loudly are you oh. enjoying it <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah so please guys do subscribe and we'll see you on the other side even now as we speak jj has sent a message that i'm not i'm not the one who released that audio <laughs> uh, it, 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 I only gave it to them for safekeeping. So, even if he gave it to them for safekeeping and it has been released, who will be reported for recording people without authority? It's an offense to do so. It's himself. Again being used, he keeps getting deeper into problems. Catch Amazing Minds Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 20 hours Central African time on YouTube, Google, Apple, and Spotify for podcasters. Zambia's first late night show. Individual kuma nyumba wasifai. So that mangi sam. Hey, funa ti mangi se palast. Hey guys, be careful with the comments you put on TikTok uh just so we don't get in trouble with you. But you're welcome to the show. Uh Amazing Minds of your first late night show. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe, hit the bell and share. Show is available Mondays and uh, twice a week. <laughs> 20 hours Central African time. We're you know, I, I, I'm always hesitant. We're always hesitant about this, about moving the show to 22 hours. 22 hours is ideally the final, 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 final time. But finally, we're moving the show to 22 hours. Uh, because it's a late night show. Ideally, it should be airing at 20 hours. So we've been like slowly edging towards it. We started airing the show at 15 hours. Uh, and then we went to, uh, I think 18, then 20 hours. So now we're going to 22 hours uh, for the video the late night show that's the youtube version of the show but the podcast will be available to you uh, earlier which is 20 hours you may have noticed for those of you that listen to podcasts that uh google podcasts apple podcasts i think are uh, going through a midlife crisis they're shutting down or something and so the show is exclusively going to be available on spotify at least for now and that also means that we'll provide you guys with a new link because this podcast platforms have been giving us a bit of uh i don't know how best to describe it but yeah podcast link will be provided to you on the next show when we have really properly re-uploaded everything where you can uh, find them now we used to upload everything on anchor for, uh, which was spotify for podcasters but things have changed yeah so the show will air 22 hours twice a week and 20 hours for the podcast twice a week that's monday show which is the political segment of the show monday show is monday show not because it airs on monday but airs on monday because it's monday show and bible talks which ideally airs on fridays but depending on how zisco is feeling we might air it on a different day yeah um subscribe i'm here with mr fire blood belt black belt <laughs> black <laughs> <Ikari. built in. laughs> ati ati Go pin in the karate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm enjoying the tea. 
Oh, you have no idea. This is some good tea that we're having here. Uh, thanks to your new subscriptions, we managed to get some tea. <laughs> I've been doing that off these days. You know, there's a perfect... Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's a sweet spot. There's a sweet spot. Let me try. <sighs> Guys, it's a comedy show. Yeah, comedy show works better with coffee. So we have a number of things we are discussing on the show today. It was a good show. Last week's show, by the way, we just aired a couple of days ago. What did you say <laughs> that thing about the Wasif a couple of days ago? <laughs> Zesco <laughs> uh, uh, in conjunction with all these uh, network providers. Mm, yeah, exactly. We'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, was a time, Paris, if I, you are telling people to be careful. With their oh, yeah, yeah, guys, please be no, careful. No, let the people comment what they want. <laughs> someone they're, someone they're was like, for their own someone was like, why don't you follow? Why don't why don't the families follow each C5 no. individually? Guys, we're not inside. Please. <laughs> How do we get in trouble for that? <laughs> <laughs> you know the comments that people put, uh, especially on there's that video. Sometimes I regret putting it on TikTok, uh, where we talked about uh, where firstly we showed the uh, HH talking about uh, uh, an early election, and okay. then we showed ECO mm. doing the same thing. Yeah. The comments: mm. We want an early election. Yes, we want an early election I, now. This the people talk, <laughs> guys. <laughs> 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 I know, I know, I know. <laughs> we already have the cyber laws and cyber security, whatever. So, yeah, yeah. So everyone is responsible. Whoever, whoever whatever. comments will be picked up on their own. Eh? Yes, they won't pick us up together. No, no, no. You guys are just passed. Over. You are just going to be writing the the statement. Tim <laughs> check statement. Two nights statement. Remember this statement. Hey, <laughs> you call your lawyer and they are telling you to get champ people, and it's quite cold. <laughs> <laughs> with everyone issue ah that's crazy <laughs> yeah but anyway you guys leave your comments uh tell us what you think be unbridled be free about it now i feel safe knowing that i won't be picked with you <laughs> so you can say anything you want <laughs> and yeah yeah otherwise i think last week was a great show what did you think about it i enjoyed watching it actually you enjoyed watching it, eh? Mm, well, we spoke too much about the PF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No wonder the adverts this week were not last week, rather. Was it this week, last week, with the show airing so late? I don't know. You just said we aired it a couple of days ago. I know. We <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, I, I, lest I forget, we may be, th this show, you may not be watching this on Monday. We'll try to get it to you on Monday, but you, you know, mm -hmm. forces beyond our control. Yeah. But, guys, you don't see it, don't give up don't give up whatever day the show airs we know you love it keep loving it mm. keep supporting us keep subscribing keep liking leaving your comments it's so encouraging to see your engagement to know that we're not talking to ourselves and <laughs> exactly. yeah it's <laughs> yeah. it's a very encouraging thing uh, by the way thank you thank you my hair is looking yeah thanks thanks oh yeah yeah i see that <laughs> <laughs> I see that. <laughs> I just deliberately didn't say it because I have already said it twice already. On the I even got on the mumbo ni kumbo parast. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to move on with them. I know. Guys, I'm going to move on with them. This is a mum named Zach. Yeah, crazy. Now we're going to chase this. Is that so? Mum, this is that so? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> So we have a couple of things to discuss on the show. We're starting with Lusaka City Council ordering traders to leave bus stations. And then we'll go to Lungu's eligibility case, which has taken off. Um, JJ Banda's alleged abduction update. Uh, Unza lecturers protest and down tools. And damning revelations in the 2023 Financial Intelligence Center's uh, trends report, which is the FIC. So that's some interesting stuff we have for you. Not too political today. Yeah, but it's some interesting stuff for you guys. And of course, we can't neglect to mention Zesco. Zesco has been giving us 12 hours now, officially. Uh, yeah, I, not, like a very happy not, not much to complain about. I'm happy. We have 12 hours of power in a day. This is bad, guys. The, yeah, be happy about <laughs> I that. know. That's bad. Hmm. I'm happy. We have power from 0 to, to oh, it's actually 10 hours. From 0 to, to 12. I'm happy. Thank you, Zesco. Thank you, Mr. Mapani. The Mamba Colaris is working. Yeah. Well, I tell you. Ah, I tell Twelve you. Twelve hours, you're happy. Twelve hours, you're happy. Why mm. people be like, what's this? You know, you know, our load shedding is not even wed in, in other places. I my, know, right? Can cousin, you find load shedding? My cousin was getting surprised when uh, 
uh, her German boyfriend came here and she was surprised about the word load shedding. Load what? Load shedding. Load shedding. <laughs> so we've always thought like this is a thing, you know. You, not, you mean, guys, this, we you mean to, to the, how do Germans talk? You mean to tell me this this country does not have <laughs> other other alternatives of power? <laughs> I wouldn't even try that. <laughs> yeah, you know, right? I'm trying to I'm trying to Google the word Lord shedding here to see whether it actually will give me a definition. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, okay. first first result, we'll put it up on the screen for you guys. Mm-hmm. First result is Zesco Limited. First <laughs> result. Yeah. So this is our own thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a Zambian thing. It's like the way we have the word epicenter whenever there's cholera. I hear now Easterners, you guys. Uh, I know. Us guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we have wonderful names. Yeah, epicenter mm. Zulu and whatnot. Mm. These uh, are yeah, very crazy ones. I can't even say them right now. Uh, off the grid, Ngoma. Yeah. Uh, we've had very bad ones, nasty yeah? ones. Like what? Yeah? Like what? G-string <laughs> 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he means a G, he means a G string on the guitar. The the first string is a, <laughs> a G string. Yeah, there's a G. Yeah, G string. Or oh, is it the second string? Mm. Oh, really? <laughs> no, <laughs> but I remember someone made that joke when we were young. He was oh, yeah. actually joking with my elder cousin. who was also a Mnyenyembe. Chico, you know Chico. Yeah, yeah. So Chico's friend. I think they were in grade two of that time. Ah. I was very young. So they were laughing about these names. The guy is, uh, I think, Bemba. Yeah. The guy was Bemba. But wasn't he Paul Banda or something? I don't know. I can't remember. But he was a sitting at. Bando Movember. Oh, yeah. I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a Bando Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Like I know it's under Banda. Yeah, you see? Yeah. Mutale Mwanza. Mutale Mwanza. Yeah, yeah. So they were, they were joking about these names. Yeah, and I think my dad was close by. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't too amused. Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. By then, people were playing without the G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were playing without the G. playing without the G. They would skip a string. <laughs> yeah, so uh, LCC cautions traders selling under bus uh, shelters. The Lusaka City Council has observed with concern the growing trend of traders selling goods, fruits, vegetables, and other merchandise under bus shelters across the city. While we appreciate the entrepreneurial spirit of our traders, we must prioritize public health and safety standards. I feel like that was a bit sarcastic. While we appreciate the entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate the entrepreneurial spirit, but it, it is true. Entrepreneurship must come with a sense of um, a semblance of order. Mm. That's why even companies have to be registered. There's uh, formalities that have to be followed. Are you aware that only 18 pay, 18.6% of the working population in Zambia pays tax? Uh, yeah, you, I, I'm aware from you. I learned from you. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So some of the reasons are because of this. The fact that people are taking bus shelters to be their shops, it's very hard to regulate how much mm-hmm. profits they're making. Even if you said, okay, for you, we are going to start charging your tax. Mm-hmm. The problem is tomorrow they'll be on that spot there. Uh-huh. Uh, or uh, you just can't regulate how much. Mm-hmm. There is no, they, they don't have books. Okay. Uh, okay, I hear you. But uh, would that be a good reason to, to check them out? A, a good reason would be but that I don't if think you... that's even the reason that the AOCC is giving. No, it's, it's not. But I'm adding on to the many reasons why this is, is wrong. Okay. Um, for starters, when you put them in a designated market, mm-hmm. it's easier for the council to track... Uh, businesses it's going on also it's easier to charge them some kind of a, an official levy mm-hmm. so even if you can't really determine how much they are making mm-hmm. you have estimates you have levies that are being charged mm-hmm. you know there are things like yeah. that you can have a, a representative within the market mm-hmm. who at least keeps track on what people are selling that way mm-hmm. you could introduce some form of taxation or something like that and mm-hmm. i know people get it wrong when we talk about taxation taxing the the, the general public. Look, if 18.6% of the population are the ones paying taxes, this simply shows you that the tax burden on the few people paying is high. That's why you've got taxes as high as 30%. You've got taxes as high as uh, 25%, 37%. They are taxes that are so high because only a small portion of the working population, because everyone believes that only those in offices should pay taxes. If yeah, only the elite should pay taxes. Yeah, that's what people believe, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, when in fact, if everyone imagine if 
50% of the working population was paying tax. I have a gross amount of saliva production in my mouth today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So <laughs> if a larger population was paying taxes. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Even I am shocked like it's just overproduction. Yeah, so if um if a larger population was paying taxes, then the tax burden would definitely reduce and we'll see greater productivity. Also, if we had orderliness in our towns, if they were actually in designate because these guys have designated markets that have been built for them that they just don't like. And you hear it from the uh, the 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 excuses that one of the entrepreneurs was giving on on the said issue. Yeah, me me as as, as a typical Zambian. Uh, first of all, we're used to these people. I see this is uh, Kurima Tower bus yeah. station. Uh, we're used to these people. I don't know how it will feel when I go to Kurima Tower. Could be a with some banana, yeah, ma, ma orange, my tomato. I don't know how I will feel. Um, and also, I sense that this is uh, a source of livelihood for them. Uh, they are used to this place. So if they moved, they might not have as much business. It's it's very cumbersome for them. And I get what you're saying. Uh, but the way you're looking at it, I'll be honest with you, it's that's why I mentioned the way the, the, the term elite. It's an elitist, uh, elitist way of looking at things. These yeah. people don't really care about that. What mm-hmm. they care about is that it's a good isapa, vana kunyumba wakuti. Most yeah. of this, they are coming from the ghettos. Yeah. They, they don't even think about that takes burden on the country. Yeah. yeah. Do you find it fascinating? I don't know if you're aware of this, but when you go to Zimbabwe, you can go to the remotest of villages. Mm-hmm. Uh, the oldest men, youngest mm-hmm. uh, boys and girls mm-hmm. will speak to you in English because uh, I'm talking, I know they say English is not a measure of a measure of intelligence as a story for another day. I think it is to an extent, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but the, the reason I'm saying this is because they tried to spread education as much as they could. You know, Mugabe was the most educated president uh, in the world. Mm-hmm. So they tried to spread education. With nothing to show for. Uh, I know, right? No, 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 no. Have you seen his mansion? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the good things that Mugabe did. The, 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 blue, roof, the blue roof mansion. Yeah, I've heard yeah, but the greatest things that Mugabe did has got nothing. I've got nothing to do with uh, his education. Or yeah, Western yeah. Western education. So yeah, so. that's that's true. Except the the reason I bring this up is because mm-hmm. a population really, if you're talking about development, mm-hmm. has a lot to do with how much uh, of the how much the population knows. Mm-hmm. So the smaller the population that's educated on important matters, mm-hmm. the less the development. Mm-hmm. And the problem is that we are we are we are what do you call that? Like we are massaging these issues of illiteracy and ignorance. We're saying, no, but these guys don't know. These guys are poor. Yeah, they will stay poor as long as we don't teach them. So if we want them to actually improve their livelihoods, mm-hmm. because it's for the benefit of the whole country, the problem is that the people that are deemed poor and the likes are the majority. And they're the guys who actually vote. Mm-hmm. So if we begin to educate them differently. Yeah, okay, I hear you. But so what I'm sensing is that you are saying that there's a lot of disorderliness, right? Which is coming as yes. a result of an education. But you people, which- Yeah, and by the way, I don't mean school education. I'm yeah, like general, course, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Also, I'm not, I'm also, I'm also not talking about school education, so I'm very careful about my words. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about general education. Yeah. yeah. This is why I find it wrong to talk about English as a measure of that kind of education. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, uh, what I'm trying to talk about is that I sense that you're saying there's a lot of disorderliness here. But you people are very disorderly because uh, look at Zesco, the way you are treating us. Yeah. You are introducing us to words like load shading. Oh yeah. Now it's a thing, you know. Yeah. And uh, even some of us actually believe that load shedding the way the illegal. I remember my using like US. <laughs> but yeah. so you guys are disordered. Yeah. So all of us are disordered. I'm not saying that we should continue with this. I'm just saying let let it not be seen as if he says new boys as Zambia. No, let me uh nimbere buino. Uh-huh. Uh, should I put it that way? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd, okay, I'm not saying they are taking Zambia, but, <laughs> but uh-huh. I just feel like they should be accepting to change. This reminds me, by the way, I haven't done this in a while, Bible Talks lesson. Uh, this reminds me of the Egyptians coming out, sorry, the Israelites coming out from Egypt. Mm. 
uh, God is delivering them by Moses from Egypt. And when they reach the wilderness, mm -hmm. they have all this provision, manna, quails, mm -hmm. and they begin crying to Moses, at least in Egypt, we had graves. At least in Egypt, we had onion and garlic. <laughs> you know, they were, they were crying for mm. where they were oppressed yeah. because they missed things like, yes. at least there we were not just falling dead in the wilderness. Mm. They were burying us in graves. We had onion. Even though we were oppressed, we had garlic. Mm -hmm. It's a live production. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> so imagine, that's kind of what's going on here. When these guys are complaining mm -hmm. that we are used to being here, uh, I mean, how will be if we go there and we don't find Wanajin? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hear, you, yeah. I hear you. That's another issue. That's why I mentioned it at first. Uh, that's another issue that we need to deal with as Zambians. We, we are so rigid to change sometimes. Because sometimes there's no reason. Like me. Mind that kind of Kurimata bus station in Kukwera bus. Yeah. But I feel like since you're just, you're just comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Yes. With with the idea that oh there's that lady paja. Yes. And I, I noticed last time I was in Kulimata, I don't know when that was, but at the time they were selling rats or is it mouse? Mice? Mm, I'm sure I could die, right? That was a long time ago. They don't do that anymore. I don't I've never seen that. <laughs> Serious? I've not seen the, the mice now. Yeah? yeah they were they were actually frying. Okay. Mice in Kulimata. That was some years back, but I don't remember when exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah but you know, I'm many more frying have been to share. Food is it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and do you see their oversized sausages <laughs> in Kulimata? Yeah, I've got trust issues with sausages. I, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Can't try. And their water that just doesn't defreeze. You buy it here, <laughs> three weeks later, it's still a block. <laughs> anyway, let's hear from one of the traders from yeah. Kulima Tower. You come back to Munom stays in to choke. Don't say Kupianga Tima Pianga, Manja Bacaso, Pianga Gangat, Camos, Bacaso, Pianga Chagamos, six hours in Squasida. Time we own say to bring a Tapianga and this. Who come much of it for justice? What's a Kiroche poem? The Kansi Tinga and the Velagari, my Bafuna would tea, tea and the Gamino go but pass upon Calabar, but it pass. But when it's Nigeria, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. But I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it shows yeah. also so, the years mm -hmm. that they've been there for. True, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if we want to look at it from the uh, emotional point of view, uh, it, I mean, it's it's hard for us to make decisions. So uh, if if a decision need, if a decision need to be made, uh, my emotions to be very as long as there's a solution. Monga Yeah, there's another place. Find a place for them, and they start operating. No, it's more just a pad of food to a big place. Yeah. Yeah. So are there markets that are presently not being used? Like New Soweto market? Is it fully being used? Uh which one is New Soweto? I know there's Simon Moralane that's coming up. Yes, there was that Soweto market. The they were calling New Soweto because they had done not, not city market, but oh. Oh. Yes, <laughs> New Soweto. Yeah, it's possible. It I don't be, know the place. It could, could be city places. market. Hmm? So yeah, there is a new Soweto market. You really? But you know Simon Moalen market. Yes, that one is not open yet. Yeah, it's not open yet. Yeah, but there is a Soweto market. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Did you ever see a video of um, someone cooking chicken in a flood of water? They had their pot during cholera. No, I, wouldn't I think I think we aired that. We we aired it actually. Oh. There was uh, the the place was quite flooded. Mm -hmm. And she was cooking. She had a restaurant, and people were actually going to eat. She was cooking chicken, mm. buying some mm. chicken. the The fire was just above the water. Mm. It was a terrible sight. Then, yeah, it was a terrible sight. So yeah, right opposite, so to Kaminuk City Market, but right opposite there, there is a there is a whole market that they opened, mm. a whole infrastructure. Yeah, if I if I remember well, you guys leave it in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. But I yeah. I believe there's a new Soweto Market. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's being fully. Okay. Utilized and also whether there are other structures of such. Mm -hmm. The other problems is that you take them to a place and they'll say, "Kuno, good business." 
I know people yeah, say that, issues. but uh, the, the the issue also would be that uh, maybe this is where some incentives might have to come in. Like mm. when you're moving these people, mm. uh, account for them and try to give them something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah like you, you give them, okay, for you, uh, you're selling this amount of, you're selling this stuff, we're going to give you, maybe depending on what they do also, mm-hmm. we're going to give you 5,000 to sustain you for this period, or we're going to give you like that. Then they move them in batches. Mm-hmm. So they start with Cairo Road. Mm-hmm. They co- they compensate them nicely for moving them so that they are able to withstand that cash shock before they find clients. Clients will follow them eventually you know what you're saying makes a lot of sense i'm just uh skeptical <laughs> because that's a huge that's 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 like uh i don't think that would happen yes also yeah. i know i know it's easy i know it's easy to suggest when you are not the one in yeah that too uh these that these, too yeah. but it starts from there i mean if you have got the wheel yes where there's a will there's a way yeah. yeah yeah but with the current status that kind of we have too many liabilities to sort out, eh? Yes, if it does, if you have to chase those people out of there, it has to be a lot of confusion. Some people need to cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't make everyone happy. That's mm. that's just not how things work. Anyway, um, we'll see, we'll see. But mm. they do have a point. Uh, Lusaka City Council does have a point. I mean, uh, when we go outside, we're always admiring other countries how clean they look. Uh, we might have to do something radical for ours to look like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Bible talks. Uh, catch Bible talks every Friday. Every Friday. Or, uh, somewhere there. <laughs> At the end of the week. When Zesco Dim's feet. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yeah. Right here on Amazing Minds. Yeah, that's right. Nine MPs, uh, the nine PFMPs are back in parliament. Oh, they're back? Yeah, it uh, mm-hmm. surprisingly seems so after we pondered last week. <laughs> no, it's good that they are back. <laughs> the Lusaka High Court has stayed the decision in which the Speaker of the National Assembly declared nine parliamentary seats of the Patriotic Front member members vacant. In this matter, the nine MPs filed an application and supporting affidavit by the lead applicant, Brian Mundovide, on behalf of the others challenging the speaker's decision. When the matter came for ruling, the court issued an order. The court issued an order granting leave for judicial review and staying the implementation of the decision. Yeah, so it seems uh, nine MPs are back. Uh, the court has stayed the decision that the second deputy speaker made uh, in the absence of the speaker and the first uh, deputy speaker. Yeah, so. Nine MPs are back. We should be expecting a video of them soon. As we showed you, remember the last video we showed you on our last video, on our last show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we should be expect we should be expecting a a video like that soon. Yeah, it's a, I I I thought so that it, it's going to be a long legal battle. Yeah. So we we'll wait and see. It's this is that point where they were saying up up no number zero yarao yeah up number zero yarao am exactly up in Africa yeah uh, and uh, Mr Lungu's eligibility case uh, is said to be coming is said to be becoming more complicated. <laughs> uh, we hear from the from the petitioner. Mm-hmm. So Mr Lungu actually is the one who <clears throat> so Diamond uh, TV quoted him. Uh, when he was saying like off the cuff, he was yeah. walking out to his car. Yeah. Yeah. Then, by the way, th- he was looking very distraught. Uh, did you see the picture of him holding a book to say how to deal with idiots? I think I see. Yes, I did. I, <laughs> yes, I saw that actually. Yeah. That was very funny. <laughs> yeah, so I noticed that that day he was looking quite distraught, mm-hmm. uh, same as the people who were following him. Uh, then he made a comment in passing as he was going to his vehicle. They say, ah, my, it's like I was worried. Say, ah, this case, my case has has reached. Uh, it's becoming more complicated. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know. He seemed very worried. Mm. Yeah. I don't know why exactly. Uh, but also we saw that uh, there was a lot of heavy police presence. Uh, I don't know if we we'll show that. There was yeah, a lot of, yeah. 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 There was. Uh, you guys can take a look at the heavy police presence. Mm.
Yeah, mm. this was very unnecessary. And uh, we had the... Uh, Wait, the police were all there. All that was... Imagine. They made, they, it, they has, were, it, it has just clicked. <laughs> yeah, they were there to make sure that there are no supporters coming. Into the it looks like a deployment of people who've just finished training. By the way, those are recruits. Those are recruits. Yeah, so I think they're still undergoing training. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So... To me, it shows... Why uh, Pachan, you being... Mm. Mm, because now it, to me now it's confirming that uh, this uh, petitioner Mr. Mijero Jizombe uh, is working with the UPND so it's the UPND who wants mm. to push ECA out of there <laughs> yes because yeah. then what, 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 what because uh, we, we had the rhetoric from uh, this uh, home affairs minister Jack Mimbo mm, mm. Uh, even before this case came up warning everyone to say and because each now we have now on our last time Mm. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, people Bezo were chanting him, thronging the, yes. the crowd was thronging. Yeah, yes, yeah. You, wanted, you said that was of no Gwesa gate, yeah, or, face or something like that. Yeah, yeah. so maybe it's now about Yeah, but to me, they are doing it wrong. In fact, mm. if you are serious politicians, you should see that so that you strategize around it. Yeah, not to Mambo Vides a food. The that wasn't just heavy police presence, that was overwhelming. Overwhelming indeed. Police presence. Yeah. So it's not pays the commander of Ezo Imba and my former ministers. There was a win be that way. I took a go to my Imba. You were doing good. I said, my former ministers. We don't we don't have a we don't have a video of that, do we? Uh I don't <laughs> do we have guys? <laughs> Oh, please tell me we have one. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. so uh, so we've been speaking too much about uh, this petition and also the petitioner Mijiro Jizombe. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's good that we hear from him. It's oh, yeah. The first time I think I'm hearing from him myself. Yeah. 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 And he's quite well spoken, actually. And yeah, he does is well spoken. Bring up some um, valid points, but you hear for yourselves. And 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 we, and we hear people are talking about once the court has made a judgment, there's no appeal. That is, that is a, a misconception that needs to be corrected. When a, a, a superior court like this one makes a judgment, and later on it is realised that the court omitted, or forgot or neglected to consider important provisions of the law that if they had considered the judgment would have been different, they are allowed to revisit. And this is legal, it is not uh, uh, special, and it happens all the time in the Supreme Court. Lawyers to me, uh, they seem, uh, lawyers and politicians, uh, Mm. Uh, this guy, there's a reason why it takes long to uh, to do law school. There's a reason yeah. why they pay a lot of money. Uh, there's a reason why it takes a lot, actually, for your effort, to, like, to, to get a law degree. Yeah. Yeah, so I also understand that uh, these guys uh, know what they're doing. Uh, but also, as I said, I look at them as politicians sometimes. So with them knowing so much, it's easy for them to confuse us, the layman. Mm -hmm. because, I know it's very easy to just speak jargon. And, yes, yeah. yes. Because indeed, what he's saying, it's true that, you know, if, if, if the highest court makes a decision, it should be open for petition. Mm -hmm. uh, now, that, that could be true on one, on one side. But me as a layman, uh, I, think of my, I, I think for myself, like, Okay, so this same issue of Lungu, we had a case by uh, Danny Pullen. There was a case by Bampi Kapalasa, an MP. There was a case by Sishua Sishua and the Chapter One Foundation, Linda Kasson and the Friends, where they actually had John Sangwa as their lawyer, which was the last one, actually. So this is not the first time that this case has been taken before yeah, the Constitutional yeah. Court. This I is not the even John the second Sangwa time. One. should be the fourth. Yeah. Yeah, so what is it? that these lawyers have not discussed or these legal minds have not discussed. Because I, I understand you can petition when there, are, when there are things that you think that you have not discussed. So I'm thinking as a layman, after all these four cases, mm -hmm. what is it that they have not, talking, that they have not spoken about mm -hmm. that is new? Is there like a new angle from which they'll argue it? You, you see, mm -hmm. and now to me, it, it seems suspicious because we know that our judiciary has been compromised before. 
mm. right now it's it's still suspicious to me mm. because also of our way of doing things the president appoints judges yeah yeah so it's also possible that the 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 court was compromised the time they were making this decision mm. they, they 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 deliberately didn't look at some of the things it is also possible that the court now is compromised and they want to overturn their own decision because if the constitutional court comes back and says no actually edgar lung is not eligible they would be saying actually we were wrong mm. yes so it's, i don't know whether the courts do have uh, i i mean is it okay for the courts to admit a wrong uh, yes if they if they say that uh, edgar lung is uh, not was not eligible then that means they are admitting that we were wrong then what does that do for his uh last the fact that he stood that would be the interesting part now i don't know what the law says about that because mm-hmm. that means that uh, that election was him standing was illegal uh, does it also would, mean that yeah, uh, the void. election is now unvoid yeah we did void uh-huh. the, so i don't know how many years have we been in this presidency Almost 3 years yeah we did void the 3 years yeah that's interesting we would like to see where this all goes yeah. mm it's 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 not very easy to comment on court issues but yeah we'd like to see where this goes exactly. we surely do hope that we will be given a sense of satisfaction yes. and and closure on this matter so yeah so that we put it to rest finally mm. uh, we want to know are we finally telling mr lungu that we can't vote for him in the next election or are we finally sending him home <laughs> what does that mean Yeah, either way he's going home. <laughs> <laughs> he's still home. He's home right now. <laughs> oh no, for real this time. He won't country, he won't appear in the news he's anymore. In his country. No, no, no. I, he's I, home at his home. No, come on. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, I simply mean whether he stands or not, he's yeah. not going back to state house. Ah, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Okay. Because home ungaga ungaga meaning at as a name to some other home <laughs> to the Lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> No, he's still alive and well he's a very fit man yeah but whatever is happening is just making him more popular so as i said before if the upnd are the ones who are pushing this they are doing it wrong yeah and and to be honest if mr lungu does stand elections and wins we'll delete this video <laughs> and many other videos <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so the global system for mobile communication association of zambia says telecommunication sector have been negatively has negatively been affected by the current prolonged load shedding affecting the country yeah so we do know that uh, this past week we experienced very challenging network uh, to the extent that we couldn't make calls to one another relationships were being affected i hear uh, some found it as an excuse mm. uh baby there's no network mm. yeah no oh, really Yeah so I'm gonna out and then come back no I didn't say good night because there was no because there was no network <laughs> no, I couldn't come home Kairi network <laughs> As I couldn't go uh, if if I called were you going to open the gate <laughs> uh, oh, okay no uh, uh, if I called were you going to open the gate <laughs> but the phone was not going to go through eh hey, it wasn't going to go through <laughs> so blames air to that I didn't come home yeah you see uh, on a serious note uh It's a problem to live in a third world country man. Uh-huh. This is not normal. They give you anything and you have to accept it. You have no We literally had hours of no network last week. Yeah. Now th- that's a lot of uh, money going to waste. Yeah. Uh, there are people who are doing businesses and they depend on internet every second. Yeah. So people actually lost money. Yeah. Uh, there are actually simple situation imagine when the watenga yango when the chiranga to 250 the niate money as your savings. Oh yeah. 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 The way at your money is just an example it could be Zamte uh, money what do you call it? Uh Or whatever mobile money uh, mobile money services. Momo it could yeah. be anything yeah. Imagine versus your savings mm. what predicament. And I always do say this actually that uh if ever at your money for some reason mm. went off mm. businesses will close that day. Mm-hmm. Uh people will die. Yeah, very possible. Yeah. Uh, like things will go bad yeah. if air money was ever to shut down it's mm-hmm. dangerous if we are seeing hints like this mm-hmm. of network going going like this <laughs> going going <laughs> ah that's bad i yeah. know ah, it's bad to be in a third world country of course, it, it definitely is they well, give you anything and you take it blaming zesco yeah we blame zesco but what happened up pakat uh, lot shedding has been there throughout eh yes yeah yeah to me okay i heard i heard from uh, actually I think it was the president of this association GS GSMAS 
Mm-hmm. I think I heard from him. He was on radio. If not, then it's a representative from this organization. So they were saying that, um, so they have backup, mm-hmm. uh, mostly genset. Uh, of course, they are trying to switch now to solar because they say, why is it Paracas? Yeah. So they are genset. Uh, they use fuel. So they are saying that they've been getting prolonged hours of load shedding such that it doesn't make business sense to always be putting fuel in there. Mm. So it's also deliberate somehow because also it, it doesn't make business sense, which is understandable. Prolonged hours of load shedding. Yeah. I thought, was, oh no, the president only addressed uh, hospitals. Yeah, not the tower, not the network towers. Mm. Uh, I don't know if they've had any any sort of agreement on how they are going to treat the network towers because, I mean, telecoms is very important. As it's well. very important. Mm. At the end of the day, we are getting to see now that uh, when you try to protect this sector, this one falls apart. When you try to protect mm. this one, this one falls apart. Right. So at the, at the end of the day, just sort out the whole load shedding issue. We have enough brains and money and land in this country mm-hmm. you- to be able to sort out this issue within... A given space of time. Rwanda has done it. Zimbabwe has done it. They have opened up, they've all opened up some alternatives. South Africa has done it. Countries all over the world have done it. Uh, it costed Rwanda how many millions? $23 million? Somewhere there. That's if it's true anyway. But we are able to do something about this as a country. We have had 60 years of independence. We can't be talking about this from UNIP. Mm-hmm. Narielo. Mm. That's crazy, guys. Yeah, and uh, what do I want to say? Anyway, <laughs> the thought has crossed. It's His thought has gone. It's <laughs> Fukushi. <laughs> yeah, so. Anyway, I wanted to say that, I wanted to remind you that I remember you, you shared a video with me of uh, the minister in parliament. Aha, uh-huh. yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Being asked a question about. Uh, at do we ex- uh, what do what did the so it was uh, Mumba who was asking he was asking whether we expect Mumba. yeah whether we expect that load shedding will go all the way to twenty four hours mm, and the minister seemed helpless I know he was like I know um we know that our water allocation is almost running out but what we are doing now is we are going to give you load management. <laughs> He was very much careful not to use the word load. He didn't want to use load shed. We're going to give you load management until we get the next rain. <laughs> and it's just that I think they were in parliament, so they didn't have that chance for sub, for a certain kind of dialogue. But what happens if it doesn't rain? Yeah, you see, that's a very good question. You yeah. don't want to think about that. Yeah, we, but, we're even scared to think about that. But no, you see, us, we've got the, 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 the privilege of being scared. Yeah. That's our preserve. Yes. Our leaders shouldn't have that. Yeah, their job in Haka and the HDMI, they shouldn't sit down to say, "Oh, but the climate change, hey, what are they?" No, this is the time that they need. Yeah, to work. how hunger how is. How do we navigate this? BB Liko. BB. What's the BB? Hey, BB Liko. Yeah. So for them, this is a time for solutions. They don't have the the, the luxury of yeah. yeah. Of, of postponing pressure, like, ah, no, no we'll deal with this, no. we'll get to this bridge, we'll uh, cross this bridge when we get there. They don't have the luxury of sitting and thinking, ah, but uh, what weather forecast they've told us? They, they think this year they're going to have enough. No, no. What did the weather forecast tell us last year? Did they tell us the weather? No, they, did, they did, yeah. But they did? They, yeah, of course. My, they, What's their accuracy, uh, accuracy, so the accuracy thing level? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they did predict because we saw the El Nino, but the El Nino effect, but... They, they, are, they, they, maybe they were not as elaborate. We didn't know that uh, uh, it would be enough to cause uh, even uh, crops to fail. Yeah. At that magnitude. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe they didn't explain that, but we knew that they were going. There was going to be a, a drought somehow. Yeah. So their accuracy is quite on yeah, point. Yeah. Yeah. And, and now they are telling us that uh, we might have uh, no more info. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> now, we hope their accuracy is there because if it's not, then we're still going to be in trouble. Yeah. Also, let us account for acts of God, things that we yeah. as we as human beings cannot determine. Yeah. So our leaders yeah. also should not sit down and, and think, oh, but you that there will be no more info. OK, let's wait, guys. Let's do what we can for now. Yeah. And, and until there is. Also, the, the, the problem is people. we don't want leaders who seem to be wanting to manage the situation until they can pass off pass they can hand over the responsibility to the next guys it's like you're trying to 
you're trying to manage the situation like, okay, guys, while we are here, let's manage this, this situation. We hope it will rain for the next, they are hoping there'll be seven years left. Let's manage this for this long and we'll pass it on to the next guys. That's a wrong mentality. You guys need to sort it out once and for all. If you have to cut off from another plan somewhere to deal with this one, I think it's that important. Mm. I honestly think it is. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so related to the same subject, police in Lusaka have arrested four people who attempted to protest against load shedding at Zesco headquarters in Lusaka. The four suspects were picked at Zesco headquarters around 8.30 hours. They were identified as Richie, all right, you can see their names there. They are, de they are detained in custody for the offense uh, of idle and disorderly conduct. Yeah, this was a couple of days ago. So yeah, uh, citizens have begun to take matters into their, own, into their own hands. We can see a four man protest there, which of course, we know will not go anywhere. Yeah, and so these guys have been made an example it, of. At what will not go anywhere? A four man protest. No, but these guys were just from uh, complaining about load shedding. Uh, of course, we know what's happening. We know the problem. But these guys, their motive is to, to make Zesco change their way of doing things because they are not following the schedule mm. and all those things. Uh, so we, these guys are doing it on behalf of us, in fact. Yeah. Yeah, but then if only but four people are shooting them down, and everyone is shooting them down. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, not yeah. everyone. There are some of us who are supporting them. Who is Zesco? Way, hmm? No, supporting these oh, guys. Oh, I understand, I understand. No, I'm not shooting them down as per se, but I just think they could have gathered more people if they wanted to to protest. Four people is... People are scared, guys. Because, yeah. they, they, by the way, remember that I, I told you that we were going to... There were some people who were planning to protest. Mm. Yeah, like, like way before. Mm. Yeah, Why, uh, there was like a secret WhatsApp group. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. No, because the information was in public domain because they okay. went to the police to notify them. Ah, okay. Exactly. Uh, the police didn't dispute that. Actually, the police ignored them until the day of the protest. When I the police, they organized everything. These guys, and the, the police didn't respond to them. Why much my politicians to say, no, we're advising that you do it. Uh -uh. They just kept quiet. They just they, kept quiet and went to wait for them. Yes. Yeah. So uh, to a great extent, even me, even these guys knew what was going to happen that day. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe there were four because went to an eye open. Because like me, a lot of people understood what was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So another day, I want to forget about Wednesday. <laughs> the, yeah, who does it? Who it. does it protest on Wednesday? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's quite busy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That does make sense. Um. So it's it's hard to influence uh, Zesco's schedules by doing that kind of a protest. I guess the easier way is to sort out the whole problem, as we suggested, the whole load shedding problem. Mm, but the protests would work to 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 sort of awaken the leaders so that they. Sort the problem out. So they sort it out, eh? Yes. This is necessary. Don't get me wrong. The protests are necessary. Mm. Yes. And it's wrong that the police arrested them. Yeah. Very wrong. This is a thing that we thought we got rid of. Yeah. Yeah. I know we are peaceful in Zambia. Four guys. Did you guys see Kenya? <laughs> it's just that this same Zesco, they prevented us from showing you the show exactly. where we talked about Kenya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we are seeing. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we didn't tell you we recorded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, Unza, Unza. So wait, they were, these guys were released, by the way. They shouldn't have been arrested in the first place. Mm. Yeah, so we have uh, one of the protesters, Nawa Stadi, who interestingly was part of the Bush protest. Egypt time you know, before. Mm, mm. and then uh people they, they they sort of the pf supporters that time they were saying this bush protest has been sponsored by the upnd these are upnd uh agents yeah yeah of course we understand them because we had people come from there like now uh, mubita now who joined upnd mm. uh, pilato is the de facto upnd members who came from there yeah but this now started was part of that bush protest they were called <laughs> names as being sponsored by the pf Today he's been called names that he's been sponsored by. Oh, they were, that time is come back to watch the sponsor by UPN. Yeah, but but this time we come back to watch the sponsor by PA. So I I guess that's why it's a bit coming. tricky to also determine someone's motives when they come out against the government or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, they could have. He, yeah. Who knows? Maybe he lost someone due to load shedding in yeah, hospital. True, yeah, it's true. Yeah. So let's hear from uh, now. study confirming that uh, they were released that same day. Okay. I'd like to confirm that we were released late in the hours after spending more than 10 hours uh, in the cells, uh, unlawfully so, 
uh, we, were, we were not charged we were not arrested we were held up we were we were not charged rather but we were, we were arrested without any charge and we were let go late in the evening our 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 comrade kifataki who is a muslim um when we were being thrown and put into our cells at central police station the police officers who were handling us may forced her to remove her hijab this is against or international conventions on uh, treatment of uh, suspects but also on prison conditions because they, they violated her religious beliefs that was mr stalin moving on uh unza lecturers have continued with their uh, protest over unpaid benefits. Honestly speaking, I think UNSA lecturers are really excited about these gatherings. They actually look like parties. Mm. For uh, them, they were allowed to protest. Eh? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take a look. For money which is not clean are being sent to court and eventually jailed. Even uh, the properties are being forfeited to the state. That's a good thing. But now we have a situation where workers have worked. Okay? Those who, are, who have earned money genuinely you don't want to pay them. Is that a rule of law? Is that a rule of law? So why should we be talking about rule of law? Only the citizens. Kutumpo. Kutumpo. Oh, he's bold, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and as I said, this always looks like a party. You can look at this woman celebrating the protests. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Unza. They're having fun. Uh, yeah, they're having fun. Ah, they're having fun. Yeah, and so uh, we are also told by a representative that the students should be ready not to learn. Um, he After also he said they shouldn't report. Yes, I, I know, but uh, I'm, I'm giving it context. Okay. He, he says uh, it's a preventative measure for them not to come to class because they might not react well <laughs> when the lecturers don't come. And then the lecturers will be accused of inciting violence because he knows that the students like to protest. Oh, I, can't, I can't add more. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's and what's all happening I can with Unza. Yeah. We've seen this in the past uh, lecturers protesting, not going to class. Yeah. They yeah. Now, uh, students protesting as a result. And yeah, students yeah. protesting as a result, and then citizens protesting because their cars were broken, yeah. and then the police <laughs> protesting because they have to slap. <laughs> Ah, crazy. <laughs> it's a chain reaction of protests. Uh, it's a chain reaction. And then they are now, re those guys you saw at the court, that <laughs> crowd of policemen, mm. overwhelming police presence will be sent there. And uh, then, uh, unfortunately, you might have another Vespers. Yeah, moving on. Uh, Emmanuel J.J. Banda has been committed to the high court. I like how they say committed to the high court as though he's been readmitted to the hospital for his, <laughs> for his dehydration wounds. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a lot that's been going on with uh, JJ. Of course, at this point, we are suddenly, or rather, we are slowly beginning to see uh, his self-abduction unfold, allegedly. We are beginning to see it. We get comments from Mr. Mr. Kawana. We got some comments last week from Mr. Muetwa as well. And finally, now we... We are seeing things unfold in an interesting way. Take a look at Mr. Kawana's comments. Even now as we speak, JJ has sent a message. That I'm not, I'm not the one who released that audio. <laughs> uh, I, I, I only gave it to them for safekeeping. So even if he gave it to them for safekeeping and it has been released, who will be reported for recording people without authority? It's an offense to do so. It's himself, again being used he keeps getting deeper into problems. I was waiting before I could even say, let's respond. I, I got so many calls from you uh, journalists. Hey, what about this audio? What are we say? I was waiting. I needed to see. So who's producing this audio? So just to clarify, Mr. Kawana was talking about the abduction. JJ was uh, committed to the high court because of the aggravated robbery and uh, attempted murder stuff.
Mm. So these are two different issues. But as you are saying, indeed, we are getting, I don't know if we're getting somewhere with the, with the abduction, but we're hearing about it. Yeah. And uh, it's interesting because he was talking about that audio that leaked. You remember last yeah, week we yeah. touched yeah. on it a bit. Yeah. Because these guys, Tawakawana and the, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Home Affairs, Dixon Matembo, who we see in the end telling us, confirming also what Moet has already told us that this was staged. Mm-hmm. So Tawakawana sat down with Dixon Matembo and JJ Band. And they sort of uh, started making a deal. According to Tawakawana, he was invited there by JJ's family as well as a chief mm. from Eastern Province. So that's why he was compelled to go there and sit down with them. Now, they started talking about the details of the case. And you remember this guy was actually telling JJ to say, and apparently this JJ was recording as you heard from Tawakawana mm, himself. Mm, mm. And you see, they're not talking about the substance of the matter. Now they're talking about who was recording. Yeah. It's an offense to record someone. To record without permission. Exactly. Mm. But what the substance of the matter, what is a permanent secretary, a government official, going to sit down and uh, talking about a, a police case, a police investigation? Mm. To me, this is very smelly, as I said last week. Yeah. Even uh, Sylvia Masebo went and sat down with JJ. Really? Yes. So to me, it starts with JJ himself. Because mm. JJ is the one who was recording these people. So he's the one who was organizing this visit. Mm. These people also fell into the trap. For them to fall into the trap, it means they do it. Yeah. It means they negotiate on behalf of the police. For what? This is a police case, a very serious one, by the way. <laughs> That's the crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we have even the, the permanent secretary of home affairs, who po- the police is sort of under him, you know? Yeah. yeah. In his ministry. Yeah. Why would we be doing this? In other serious countries, uh, Sylvia Masebo, Tawakawana, uh, Matembo, Sembeswana still resign with Sembeswana Pish and Chito. Now, the fact that they are still here, it means that Wamene Wana and Genesan Chito, they might have no, they might know something about this. They thing. might be aware of these things. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you see, me, I believed that this thing was really staged, but the way they're handling it, I mean, Palace Zamboga, ah, it's, it's being, stage. it's a, it's a whole public mess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are yeah. seeing the mess full blown right in front of our faces and no one is doing anything about it yeah yeah so this is very dangerous it shouldn't happen yeah yeah so we'll see what happens i'm not happy about this i'm not even happy that he's making a press briefing about it yeah i i do like mr kawana though i think he makes very interesting statements. i liked I him noticed. after i noticed. I, I think he has got like a like, uh, sato sarcasm you know yeah but you see the other thing this, yeah, uh, this so man big. is a politician yeah yeah so <laughs> yeah, but anyway, politicians are, are politicians. So you can you can make a politician a permanent secretary, but you won't take away the politician in him. Mm-hmm. Mm. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Exactly. Uh the FIC has uh, released a report um based off of their 2023 findings. Mm-hmm. The trends report, which was <laughs> very explosive. <laughs> Woo! There's mm. so much that has been uh revealed for starters. Uh, approximately 14 billion 13.58 billion mm-hmm. uh, of illicit dealings which are coming from mm-hmm. so just there mm-hmm. uh, this 13.6 uh, we're running it off yeah yeah 13.6 billion kwacha uh, the, the 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 minister of uh, finance recently uh, did a supplemental budget you heard about that mm, yeah i did yeah, because I did. of the drought and everything they did an emergency yes. supplementary budget and it was about 45 billion kwacha yeah. So this is like one third of it, which is going to waste. In yeah, pockets, which is going cor- corruption and uh, yeah, money laundering, yeah, and money laundering and all that stuff. Yeah. So make no mistake, there is corruption and money laundering in the UPND government. Yeah, and it's rampant because they are saying thirteen point six billion last or the, the the one for twenty twenty because this is twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty was about five billion quite. Oh so, yeah, so there's a, a hundred and is it they say hundred and thirteen percent increase or something like that? Yeah, so yeah. more than a hundred percent. Yeah, increase. more than a hundred percent increase. In about a hundred and thirteen percent. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the same government that told us that uh, spillage of funds have gone down to zero. Remember, we reported this must have been late last year that spillage of funds, uh, no wastage, it's zero quarter. Yeah. Man, we are shocked from this. <laughs> yeah. We're so there's shocked. there's a chart here. I think you can explain. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this was, I think, the most interesting case that a lot of people talked about, actually. Uh, so uh, people should just understand this as they see this uh, infographic. Mm. So, the, of course, the FIC does not mention names of companies, mention names of uh, individuals. Mm. Yeah. But 
it's also worth to mention that they sent a dossier to the president, apparently, okay. which has all the names and all the details. Yeah. Just like they sent to the to the legal, uh, no, sorry, the law enforcement agencies. Mm. They sent with the, they sent with the actual name so that when you are investigating, you have actionable things. Okay. Yeah. So uh, in this most interesting case, there's this company called they are calling it DL. This company was established in February 2023. Yeah. So last year, February. And in April, two months later, they opened a bank, a bank account. account. That was their first time opening a bank account. Yeah. They were awarded a contract in June. Company <laughs> in February, yeah. that's a good account in April, with no past experience. At all. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Of supplying the government or signing any contract with the government. They are giving a contract in June 2023. This, by the way, was direct bidding. So there was no competition with this. Ah. Exactly. So everything about it was showing that this is an evil scheme mm. to loot from Zambian coffers, our taxpayers, man. <laughs> so this company was given a contract in June 2023, contract here, 21 million USD. dollars. Syndrome as also it says. Meanwhile, tend to pimp up and ram. Mm. Meanwhile, our own taxes are being used like this by and, and what did we say earlier that Rwanda did $23 million for you a see? whole solar? You see? Yeah. Now this money is just going into people's pockets. This is not a long time ago. Maybe it's Nasir and Ozira Kuma Oh, oh yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. No, 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 you're sorry, right. Sorry to mention the name. You are right. <laughs> yeah, but because this is foolish. Yeah, so if you yeah. see Majiwa gone, guys. Don't even kumbwa. Just wake up. Some of these people, they are stealing from them. And they are you. in pre pressure, pa pressure. <laughs> so, but I pass a deal. Yeah, 21 million USD. Mujun, company also come February. Then in August, they even paid them 5.6 million, million advance payment. USD. As we are speaking, as of December 2023, they hadn't supplied anything to the government. Yeah. So, in the H in HH's government... People are getting contracts, getting huge sums of money, a deal of 21 million USD supplying air. <laughs> HH was saying this. Yeah, yeah. To say yeah. in the previous government, people are getting deals supplying air. Are, this they is they supplying, supplying air. air yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so by HH was uh, and you see, uh, so we, we are going to see the statement from the president, right? Yeah. From State House. Mm -hmm. To me, that's lukewarm, lackluster, you know. Yeah. It's HH himself, just such a statement. By yeah. the FIC report. I, I know. And oh, by the way, we are we are not even going to read it to you. I'll summarize it to you. He's basically saying, uh, the report is there. Do something. We are encouraging the law enforcement agencies mm. to do something about this. That's basically what yeah, his report exactly. says. Mm. The pre the, the, all these law enforcement agencies right now, as you speak, they are under the office of the president. Yeah. So if HH wanted to do something about it, he would. Yeah, and we've seen him do actual press briefings on, yes. on issues less mm -hmm. than this. Yes, less than this. Yeah. Last time he went to UK, he came to tell us about how he met the the king, our oppressors, colonizers. <laughs> <laughs> and he made the whole press briefing. <laughs> yeah. And was saying, was saying nothing. You, uh, nothing. So This is yeah, a serious issue. We have seen, uh, and he's also addressed similar issues in the past mm. uh remember the envelope and uh, the calendar is it the, the calendar yes, yeah yes, yes. he addressed that issue in the press so we expected the same mm. uh maybe he will eventually we don't know but uh, mm. yeah by yeah. the way uh can you guys put the 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 link to the fic report in the, the description? yeah okay we'll, we can do that okay we'll make the link available in the the link to the FIC report in the description, yeah. so you guys can check it out. Yeah, for in yourself, full. Because yeah. It's, it's a lot of stuff in there. Actually, you'll be you'll be damned. Yeah, and below that link, we'll leave the one with the names. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> I wish. I know. I wish. <laughs> so those were the FIC findings, the drama and uh, damning revelations of the. FIC, I like the words damning mm. revelations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the dangerous reports. Yeah, that was a good show. What do you think? Yeah, I think it was a good show. It was a good show? Yeah. It actually feels like it has been summarized quite fast. Maybe because we had a long show last week. Maybe. Our show last week was one hour, 10 mm. minutes. Yeah, and uh, you guys still watched it. So thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, we are you. grateful yeah. all the time yeah. for every... Trust me, guys. You don't have to be 1,000 of you that will watch the video for us to come back here. <laughs> Two. <laughs> we'll be here. We'll be here. <laughs> we'll be here. We'll be here. We'll be here. We'll be here. <laughs> Where two or three are gathered. And have you seen that uh, some of the tomatoes, they've fallen off? Uh, sorry. Huh? 
Lord Shading has killed a lot of shit. Ah, no, Lord Shading is killing podcasts. Like it's going out of fashion. <laughs> is this a blessing disguise? Ah, 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 ah. The rise of amazing minds. <laughs> the rise of amazing minds. <laughs> Victor Mapani. Victor Mapani, our guy. <laughs> I know Victor Mapani is our guy. Yeah, we are trying to see something. Good I in know. Our we, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to leave you with uh, a goodbye video just before, uh, or as we go rather. The aim of the last videos mm. are for you guys to remain with something to think about. Yes. Uh, to have something to interpret for yourselves because we interpret everything else for you. Mm. So I'm not going to tell you much. Mm. I'll let you see it for yourself. But this has been a great show. Mm. Please do subscribe, hit the notification bell and share. And you can follow us on the show, on the show shows. Show shows. Show shows, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poo-poo. See you on the next one. But, um, when we were called in there to have a meeting with uh, the family members where we did not invite ourselves, our emphasis and I'll repeat myself, was to ask the family as to how they reach at a stage or level where they could allow their brother to be used. JJ is an independent member of parliament. He worked hard for himself to get that uh, seat as an independent member of parliament. How well was he selected to the point where you family members are accepting the situation where He's being used. And whatever amount. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.